Hello everybody, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville, covering everything Admirals, Prayers, and Florida Everblades related. Before we jump into our video today, don't forget to go over to YouTube and hit subscribe. Also click that bell. We would greatly appreciate it over here. Go ahead. Our goal for YouTube, we have 26 subscribers. Let's get it up to 50. Our goal for Facebook, we have 923 likes. We would like to get that to 1,000. By the way, speaking of 1,000, thank you to all 1,000 people, actually 1,004, who subscribe or actually follow, follow us. Who follow us on Facebook. Thank you guys. It does not go unnoticed. We are greatly appreciated. Our new goal for Facebook is 1,100 for falls, 1,100 likes. But let's try to get 50 subscribers on YouTube. Try to get our uh, views and stuff up as well on YouTube. We're also going to be doing YouTube, dropping YouTube exclusive content so every week. if you want to see that, you're going to have to go to YouTube. Yep, Sorry, guys. We the, have to try to get YouTube going. And we also... Um, we have some other news. Uh, we have a stick tap tonight. Um, the Priors did win, so we're going to get into that real quick. Let's do our stick tap first. So that way we can, when we focus on the game, we can actually pay attention to that part in particular. Yep. Let's move that so that don't get broken. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I don't want to break it. But... All right, so today, David Poyle became the winningest general manager in NHL history with 1,507 NHL career wins as a general manager. That is impressive. Yeah, so there's that. Um, so, while we're at it, let's jump up into the game. Stats, sir. All right. Well, it was a shootout there in New Jersey. Oh, uh, nothing there. I'm not used to. All right. <laughs> uh, the Predators win 6-5 to five in a shootout. This game was just like last night, a high-scoring affair, uh, back and forth. Uh, we were both getting frustrated because uh, the lead kept swapping and yeah, it does get frustrating. Yeah. All right, anyway, shots on goal in, uh, were uh, 32 for the Devils, uh, 30 for the Predators. Face-off percentage was uh, 54% Predators, 46 for the Devils. Uh, the Predators were 1 for 3 on the power play. New Jersey was 2 for 3. Uh, both teams had 6 penalty minutes. Uh, hits were 27-17 in favor of New Jersey. Block shots were 15-13 for the Preds. Giveaways were uh, 10 to New Jersey. Yikes. All right, so while we're into that, um, I want to talk about this a little bit first. Um, I, I want to give Mikel Granlin, ever since um, Hines has come in, he's really turned it around. Which is a good thing, which uh, I'm starting to believe uh, maybe Lobulette is kind of hindering some players. Yes. Potentially. Um, um, so let's talk about the first goal here. We got Matias Ekholm scoring his sixth with an assist from the Milwaukee Admirals captain, Jared Tenorti, his second assist of the season. My captain. Your captain. Everyone's captain. Um, and uh, Matt Duchesne, his 23rd. So Duchesne on the score sheet. Then we got, he had a really good game. Um, I believe the Devils going forward will have a good team eventually. They just kind of got to get some things showed up. Um, new coach. Uh, Pavel Zaka got his fourth with an assist from Nico Hischier, his 19th, and uh, Sammy Botnin, his 18th. Um, there's a running joke in Nashville that he is a future predator. <laughs> uh, Zaka's goal is a shorthander. Yep. Um, and then we have uh, Phil Forsberg scoring his 17th with an assist from Turris, his 15th, and Arvidsson, his 10th. So that's a good one. All right, now in the second period. Pavel Zaka got his second of the game with his fifth of the year with an assist from Nikita Gusev, his 22nd, and that was on the power play. And Nikita Gusev scored his ninth, literally about two minutes later, with an assist from Zaka, his 16th, and Severson, his 12th. That was on the power play. Then, well, a name we're, not used, we're used to saying this year, Nick Bonino. Uh, his 15th, nice to see him back on the score sheet, been a while. Yeah. Um, with an assist from Craig Smith, his 11th, and Rocco Grimaldi, his 16th. Way to go, Rocco. He's a big Rocco Grimaldi fan. Yeah. Um, and then we have Jasper Brat. Brat? It's Brat. Don't yeah. call him Brat. We don't eat him. <laughs> <laughs> I had to creep him out. I had to. <laughs> uh, so just, turn anyway, into, anyway. Turn, just turn into Sideshow Bob for a second. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't get, don't get sidetracked by me. 
All right, uh, with, an ass with his ninth, with an assist from Kyle Palmieri, his 16th, and Will Butcher, his 14th. Now the third period. On to the third, which, yet again, the Predators kind of come through in the third to win the game again. Uh, Matt Duchesne with his 11th. That was a nasty shot. I saw that shot. Uh, Black, Blackwell? Blackwood? Um, I'm trying to remember the goalie's name. He didn't even see it. And his 11th. And uh, with an assist from Yossi, his 36th, and Johansson, his 19th. Good to see him back on the score sheet. Johansson, that is. Um, then we have John Hayden scoring his second with an assist from Rooney. Whenever I see Rooney, I think of Mickey Rooney. I think of the movie. Uh -huh. Anyway. Uh, oh, Rooney. Oh, I think of Wayne Rooney, soccer player. Um, and then we have Phil Forsberg scoring his 18th with an assist from Yo Yossi, his 37th, and Turris, his 16th. That's Turris, two points. Yossi, two points. Duchesne, two points. All right, there's nothing in the overtime. Now we go to the shootout. Um, yeah. So if you can scroll it, because I got our shootout right here if you need it, man. Yeah, I just got to get this to kind of react a little. Tactical issues. Like there we go. Issues. So shooting first was Phil Forsberg. He scored. Then Nikita Gusev was up. He scored for the New Jersey. Um, then up for Nashville was Matt Duchesne. He scored. Then up for New Jersey was Jack, uh, first overall pick, Jack Hughes. Uh, no goal. Uh, then it was up to Ryan Johansson. We call him the controller cheat code. Or Rijo. Um In shootouts, we call him the controller cheat code because he comes up with some moves I ain't never seen before. Um, I did like to see the class act by him. Um, when he fell down, he bumped his leg on the back of the head of the goalie. He came over, uh, he went over and made sure that the goalie was okay. Class act there, right, Joe? Um, and then up last for New Jersey was Kyle Palmieri. No goal. Pekka stopped uh, the, that one. Um, only guy on my uh, shit list tonight is Whoa, Dante you Fabro. You swore. Oh, well. Okay. That's the first time we've uh, let it swear in a while. Um, so Colton Sissons was a minus three. Yakov Charney was a minus two. Uh, Austin Watson was a minus two, but those guys haven't played well or played much together. Um, Pecorini stopped 27 to tw uh, 32 with a .844 save percentage. Doesn't do well for you when you give up five anyways. But um, And then in net for um, uh, New Jersey was Mackenzie Blackwood. He stopped uh, 25 of 30 with a .833, so he had a better one. Better, uh, worst game. All right, referee is my favorite referee. I actually do like only one referee. I was about to period. say, period. No, no way. Period. And that's Wes McCauley. Um, and uh, then his uh, Carter part was Corey Severt. Uh, linesmen were Shannon Alfonso. And Steve Barton, head coach for Nashville, was John Hines. Uh, head, or is John Hines. Head coach for New Jersey is Alan Nesserid. Um, scratches for Nashville were Kelly Arncroft, Colin Blackwell, and Matt Irwin. Uh, scratches for New Jersey was Connor Carrick. Um, this was John Hines' return to New Jersey, yep. and the Predators sent him with a win. Now, um, tomorrow, the Milwaukee Admirals play the Chicago Wolves. Um, it is our... One second. Um... Eighth, uh, not, that will be our ninth meeting this year. The Admirals are 5 1 1 and 1. Um, in our last meeting, January 18th, the Wolves beat the Admirals 4 to 1. Um, before that, they met January 15th and won, the Admirals won 3 to 2. They met on December 29th. The Admirals won 3 to 2. They met December 14th. The Wolves won 3 to 2 in overtime. Um, then uh, the hmm. there was December thirteenth. The Admirals won four to one. December or November thirteenth. The Admirals won six to three. On uh, November second, the Admirals won five to two. And um, October twentieth, the Wolves won three to two in overtime. So one of those was a shootout loss. One of those was a shootout win. Um, they actually have two shootout losses. Against us, actually. No overtime losses. All right, so up next, uh, Chris will take it away with the top players. Um, After this, we'll have to do something we forgot. All right, while they're leading score, like usual, it's uh, Lucas Elvinus. Uh, 45 games played, 8 goals, 27 assists. 
They only have Curtis McKenzie, 45 games played, 13 goals, 16 assists. Uh, Gage Quinney, 34 games played, 11 goals, 16 assists. Brandon Peary, 27 goals, or 27 games played, 10 goals, 14 assists. And then Nicholas Waugh, uh, 26 games played, 7 goals. He's uh, currently assists. called up by Vegas. We'll find Jimmy Schultz. Uh, 44 games played, 6 goals, 13 assists. Uh, you got some more to add to it? Um, the Admirals' current top scorers are uh, Daniel Carr with uh, 17 goals and 19 assists. Uh, Cole Schneider with 10 goals, 20 assists for 30 points. Uh, Daniel Carr has 36 points. Uh, then we have Alexander Carrier with 4 goals, 24 assists for 28 points. We have Rum Pentlick with 14 goals, 13 assists for 27 points. And Tommy Novak, 7 goals, 17 assists with 24 points. Um, the uh, Wolves in their last five are two and three. Um, they lost in their last game to the Texas Stars five to three. Admirals are what in their last five? Um, the Admirals are four and one in their last five, currently riding a three-game win streak. Uh, we beat the Rockford Icehawks five to two um, on last Saturday. All right, go for a goalie. Have at it. And then we'll do what we forgot to do. I just realized we forgot to do something. Okay. Um, starting goaltender for them most of the time is Oscar Dansk. Uh, he has started 24 games. He has two shut shutouts. He has uh, 15 wins, 6 losses, and 2 overtime losses. Um, with a 2.45 goals against average and a 9.11 save percentage. Then we have Garrett Sparks with a 2.66 goals against average. He's played in 21 games. He has five wins, 13 losses, three overtime losses. The Admirals have been torching him all year. Um, yeah. So I, it's likely that we're not going to see him in net, um, barring something doesn't happen with Vegas between now and then. Yeah. Um, he has a .909 save percentage. Um, both go, uh, He has the higher sh shootout save percentage at an 8.5. Or a point eight five seven save percentage. Uh, Oscar Dansk in the shootout has a point six six seven save percentage. Um, empty net, they have allowed ten goals. Ooh, that ain't good. That um, means your defense say protecting that empty net. And they have uh, twenty four times they've had to give up the empty net. Wow. So out of twenty four, they they're you know averaging twenty one goals against. <laughs> All right, so next, what you had? You should visit our good friends at Hockey Locker. You can visit them at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com, or you can visit their store at... 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Or or, or you can call them at 414-800-7585. You can also get all your referee, uh, hockey, uh, figure skating, inline hockey... Um, you can get your this Predators jersey right here. You can get the blue Admirals jersey. You can get the white Admirals jersey, I believe. I believe they have uh, the black old retro skull Admirals jersey in, I believe, medium or small. So you can get retro NHL jerseys from around the league. We've yep. seen them. They do have And they do skate sharpenings. You can drop off your skates in their little drop-off box. If you work third shift, drop your skates off. Um, when you're on your way to work or whatever, you can pick them back up and, and pay well, for them. they'll contact you when they're ready. You can't just pick them up the same day because they might be busy. Yep, they will contact you when they're ready, and you will be able to pick them up. All you got to do is pay for them. Yep. Um, so this has been from Milwaukee to Nashville. Um, anything else you got? No, I just wanted to make sure we got our commercial because we usually do it at the beginning of the show. Yep, but we had so much to talk about in the beginning of the show, we kind of... Mm -hmm. We're allowed well, to make we those. Still got it. We still got it. Um, so also go over to YouTube. If you've watched this long, you will know we have YouTube exclusive dropping tonight. Yep. So go over to YouTube, subscribe, and click that little bell so you get notified whenever we do a video. Yep. See you guys later. Peace.